a at least fifth generation. They have so they they started Clos Rougeard officially. The first documentation is in 1901, but it probably goes back about 200 years before that. It's always been in the Foucault family. Um, right now it's Charlie and Natty Foucault who make the wine together. And they have they have five bottlings of wine. They've got the regular summer summer Chapinie, um, the uh, Clodeborg and Poyo, which is their single vendor bottling. Then they've got a the white Breze, which they make very, very little of, and then a sweet bottling, the Coteau, which I don't think they've ever, ever, it's ever made it to the United States. There's hmm. very, very little of it, and um, they've always farmed the same way. They have the right terroir, and sort of their wood treatment is kind of, they shift barrels all the time, so they use one to three year old Bordeaux barrels. And that's kind of their their style, is just to have that little, little bit of wood influence. No toast on it at all. Just, you don't really, yeah. I'm not getting wood at all on it. So, and that's that's kind of surprising because they don't, they're not, they're not aging in old wood. Uh -huh. it's, you get some wood, but they feel that's the best way to to get what to get the their terroir to sing, I guess. Do you know anything about how old the vines are or anything like um, that? you know I don't. I'm guessing I know they have some sixty to eighty year old vines, but Cause this this seems pretty concentrated yeah. for uh yep. you know. In fact, it's so much champagne, so it's even more surprising because right. Chinon is more known to be more concentrated mm -hmm. than so much champagne. Cool. That's about. I think, about I I think the regular wines might be like a 40 year, 40 year wine, <laughs> maybe 40, 50 year, 40 year wine. Good job. Some of them. Yeah. <laughs> part of a network of. So, it's part of a network of cellars and caves throughout summer champagne and. Like, Nadi was telling us his grandfather, when it would rain and flood, or his great-grandfather, could take his horse down into the cellar and ride three miles huh. to the next village to pick up supplies and then come back. Yeah. When the, so, and it's, it's like cold, 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 like maybe 52 degrees, and so they do really, really long elevage in wood, and it sort of, that's kind of mutes it, and they say they do the, the elevage because it's so cold like that, mm -hmm. and that's, I think that's, that's a lot of the reason you get, you get that combination of uh, finesse and concentration at the same time. Huh. Cool. That's, that's my take on it, but who knows. <laughs>